I'm in so much trouble, Manny. We have to leave now. Could this be the film that you've appeared in or TV show that you're least comfortable with showing to your parents? You would think it would be, but I watched Wolf of Wall Street with my whole family and <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you how uncomfortable that was. We're going to be friends. Yeah. You want to be my friend? We're not going to be friends. My brother, one of my brothers didn't speak to me for like three months afterwards. Wow. <laughs> not because he was mad. He was just like, I just, I just need a minute yeah. <laughs> before Processing. I can consider you my sister again. <laughs> No, I'm so proud. I show it to all my family mm -hmm. and they were like happy. Yeah, yeah. Both our mums are at the LA premiere and they loved it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Did you get to keep the eye sculpture of a unicorn? That sort of question. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> you know. What um, were you doing to that eye sculpture? <laughs> well, mum, um, <laughs> we're going to draw a diagram. What about you? Sorry? What is the secret to A grade, 100% pure, off your face on cocaine acting? Because you do a lot of it. Mm. If you could go anywhere in the whole world, where would you go? I always want to be part of something bigger. I like the idea of Damien going, more wide-eyed. <laughs> if I had money, I would only spend it on things that were fun, you know? Not boring things like taxes. I just want for everyone to party forever. Scream. <laughs> Dude, it's funny. I did a lot of, like, research. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this won't believe it, won't believe me, but I have never done cocaine. I, so I, I researched all like the kind of physiological effects of it and kind of had that in mind. I worked with like a movement coach, like harness different energies, like all the different stages. And also I've seen a lot of people doing coke sure. in my time. So I I've, I've, could watch that. And then also online, I, I would <laughs> watch a lot of clips of, there's certain celebrities who've gone on like talk shows back in like the 90s and stuff and they were like, like off that. their tits. I love that answer. Something that lasts, that means something. Something yes. more important than life. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, go-to clips online where you can watch people absolutely. I have to say that when we were tits. like rehearsing with Demian, yeah. uh, because we rehearsed like the whole movie months before. Of course, yeah. I was doing like literally Pepper. Yeah, I bet you were. Like. Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh. using pepper. Yeah, Can we yeah. do like just two takes of this? Because it's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> it's written in the stars. I am a star. Do you know my favorite like scene? I, I think I told you and Damien this at the time. There's a Bertolucci film called 1900 and De Niro's character does coke for the first time. Cocaine? Cocaine? Oh, I'd like to try some. Let me try some. And it's like one of my favorite scenes in, in cinema ever, where he's like, I don't feel a thing. And it's so, <laughs> it's so funny. I can't feel anything. I mean, uh, my nose is numb, but I can't feel anything. And he's like, I feel nothing, I'm fine. And it's, <laughs> it's such a good scene. I don't feel a thing. I mean, obviously, there's, there's iconic scenes all throughout cinema of people doing cocaine. Like, I love Uma Thurman and Pulp Fiction doing the, God we, damn, uh, yeah, like, you know. Rest in peace, Ray Liotta. In, oh, in yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I mean. It's extraordinary. I mean, Scarface, I mean, yeah, we could, the, yeah, the, the we list can... goes on. There's a lot of cocaine in movies. Oh, there's yeah, tons. There's Babylon. Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. There's, a lot, of, there's yeah. a lot of different drugs in Babylon, too. Drugs that are kind of been lost with the uh, passage of time. Uh, you know, ether. People ether. put ether yeah. in their drinks. <laughs> Where's ether gone? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Yeah. I think what we have here in Hollywood is high art. There's a fantastic line in this movie called... <laughs> I'm going to rephrase it for, for politeness. Party time, sparkle chickens. Yes. It's... Yeah, how many times do you say that? That's Brad's favorite line in the movie. <laughs> You'd always come up and be like, party time, sparkle. Chickens. 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 Um, and actually, as a wrap gift to everyone, I got flasks. Yeah, I gave I, everyone I a it. Yeah. yeah. And got everyone a flask and engraved party, party time, sparkle. Chicken. Chickens. Wild chickens. God, it's great. And then there's a scene which isn't quite in the trailer, but I'm going to say it anyway, where you fight a snake. Who wants to see me fight a fucking snake? You read the script and go, I'm doing this. Yes. I am doing this. <laughs> Fuck yeah! It was more like, are they going to let us do this? <laughs> yeah. What about the actual big party scene at the beginning of the movie that we're seeing behind us? Tell me there was actual music in the room. 
because oh, if you're Hansen doing that music. that silent disco thing at a nightclub of yeah, which sucks when you, you normally when you're filming any sort of party scene, it's dead silent so that the, they can get the dialogue clean. But we weren't on occasion we had to do that, but for the most part, like everything was noisy and set. Like Damien was so wonderful about wanting the vibe and the atmosphere on set to kind of, you know, really be represented both on screen but for us. So I mean, it was like being at a party, and the band would play. Yep. They were a real band. They're not miming. Like they were playing the actual music, and then in between takes, they'd play exactly. songs. I love this song. Uh, in oh. between takes, you, you, you imagine like silent moments. No, no, no. No. God, start that. It was like the party. <laughs> like the party didn't stop for for like a week. It was mad. I've got to ask before I go though. How do you boys do? How hard is it not to laugh at Tobey Maguire, yellow teeth, doing that manic laugh? <laughs> because I, I would not be able to keep it under control. So good. I can tell that it was easy to be a little afraid and always scared of him. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Here's the twist. Whoa! I swear that's a meme. Almost immediately him going... <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, um, I want to shout out before I go the props department because there in this scene is about 14 things I'd want to take home. There Ooh. is the props department, every department in this movie, insane. And uh, yes, lots of things worth stealing from this set. Mm, yeah. Probably not for public display. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have Thank a great you. rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast, Screen Time, on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.